Welcome back to video 14 and in this video we're going to be accessing our protected APIs. Now these APIs we set up in a prior video. If you haven't seen those prior videos you'll see the playlist in the top right corner and if you click on that you'll see the playlist and in those playlists we create these two APIs, these protected APIs. And only managers can use this protected API and only admin developers can use this protected API. Now it works great, both of them inside of Postman, and they work fine. Now we want to use these APIs from our Angular application. So what we'll do is first we'll set up our service, and then after we set up the service, we'll update the view with the information that we're getting from our protected APIs. The service we'll be working inside of is inside the shared folder, services, and it's called secret service. Open that up. And what we'll be doing is very similar to what we did here with the get values method. And right above it, I'll add a, a new method. And I call this manager developer secrets. And this method, we're going to be calling our user manager developers API. And only manager developers can use this API. So within this get HTTP options will be a token. We set that up in a prior video. And that's right here. So here we're getting back our token. Inside that token, we need to have a role as manager and a claim as a developer to use this API and get information back. So we should get back a I response, and this is the interface already set up. If we bring that in and then take a peek at it, and here we're getting back a role and a claim, exactly the way we set it up within our API. If we actually go into the back end and open up our API, into the user controller and the API we're calling in this case is this one and it's going to be returning as a role and a claim. And the second call we want to set up is for our admin developers and I'll add that right here. And this is very similar to what we did right here, but we're calling the admin developers API and you need to be a admin and a developer to call this API. Now that we set up our service, let's set up all of our components and I'll go ahead and open all of them up. Let's close this down. And then our components are inside the pages and the admin component. I'll open up the view and the TS file. And then also the manager, you want to open up the HTML for that and the TS file for that. Let's start inside of the admin component. The first thing we want to do here is bring in our service we just set up inside the constructor. And I'll bring that in. And then we're also going to have a bunch of secrets we want to show to the view. So we'll create a variable for that. So I called it secrets and we're going to be getting back an observable. And I'll bring that in from RxJS of I response. So that's going to be our role and claim. Next, let's set up a method to call our service. And I called it get admin developer secrets. And we're calling our API or service that we just set up that calls our API and then we get back all of our secrets and we set it to this variable. We need to do the exact same thing within our manager component. So I'll just copy this right here and it will jump over to the manager component and do the same thing inside the constructor and set up our secret as well. And we'll bring this in first and then set up our secret variable bring in the I response and the observable. Then we'll call our service and I call this get manager developer secrets. And now we're calling the manager developer secrets method instead of the admin like we did in the other file. And there's one more thing I forgot to do in the other file is we want to call it from within the ng on it. So when we initialize this file, we'll immediately call this method. So I'll copy this, and then within the ng on in it, we'll call it and call on this and close it up correctly. We'll make sure we do the same thing within the admin file as well. So I'll call it from within here. That's our TS files. Now let's update our HTML and we'll start inside the admin HTML. And right below this button right here, I'll paste another snippet. And here we're getting our secrets variable. We're using it. 
And here we got the secrets of variable, and this is how we're going to get the values from it. So we're getting the role and the claim. We're displaying that information to the view. And inside the manager page, we want to do the exact same thing. So right below the button here, we're going to display our top secret stuff for the manager, and we're displaying the role and the claim as well. So let's see if we can get access to this information, and we'll test this out in the browser. Let's try logging in. And we have two accounts, test seven and test eight. Test seven is the manager account. It has the manager role and the developer claim. So I'll use this one and then one, two, three, four, log in. Then our manager link shows up, click on the manager and our top secret information showed up. So that's working great. Let's try our admin. We'll log out again, log back in. And then Mike 8 is the admin account with a developer claim. Then one, two, three, four, log in and go to the admin link and nothing shows up. And I made a mistake with this. I already checked it out. If you go into the developer tools and it's unable to find this route. And the reason is, is I spelled this wrong. And that was a mistake I made within the service. Let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. If we go back here, jump into the service and then right here, I spelled this wrong. So one little mistake like that could cause all kinds of problems. So I'll make sure I fix this. Now let's check it out again. So we'll try logging in as the admin, Mike8, one, two, three, four. And then there's the admin link, click on that. And now our top secret information is showing up. Now next in video 15, what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start confirming emails. So we'll be basically working in the back end on the API, setting up an email service, and we'll be doing that next.